Folks, I don't know about you, but I love Thanksgiving. But sadly, the holiday dinner table has become a minefield of controversial subjects like sex, religion, and what's the difference between sweet potatoes and yams? <laughs> well, it turns out yams and sweet potatoes taste the same because they are the same. <laughs> and that grocery stores are just selling some sweet potatoes as yams. It's the same way that garbanzo beans change their name to chickpeas when they move away from the ethnic food aisle. <laughs> Don't forget who you are, Garbanzo. Don't forget your roots. It is... That's a movie I'm making about a garbanzo bean <laughs> that leaves the hood. It's a confusing... <laughs> it is confusing to call sweet potatoes yams, since there is actually a completely different vegetable that is called a yam. But those are not grown commercially in the United States. I mean, why would we? We already have sweet potatoes. <laughs> and sweet and potato are America's favorite food groups. <laughs> and... Yam v. Sweet Potato is not the only holiday controversy. Consider the presidential turkey pardon. Every year, the president symbolically spares one bird, but last year, Obama made it a double. Today, I'm taking uh, an action fully within my legal authority, <laughs> the same kind of action taken by Democrats and Republican presidents before me, to spare the lives of two turkeys, Mac and cheese. <laughs> Just to be clear, mac and cheese were the names of the turkeys. It was part of their plan to escape by posing as a side dish. <laughs> but even this harmless gesture of goodwill is pitting people against each other because PPP just did a poll questioning the presidential poultry pardoning power. And according to their results, and this is absolutely true, 59% of Democrats were in favor of the two turkey pardoning, <laughs> while only 11% of Republicans were on board. And 100% of vegans wanted to talk about how vegans live longer and cheese is dairy murder. <laughs> now, I thought this was the most trivial poll question I had ever seen until I saw the rest of the poll, <laughs> where they also asked about the political leanings of cranberry sauce and found that 66% of Democrats like it, while only 60% of Republicans like it. <laughs> while 100% of people polled were just glad to have something on their plate that wasn't brown. <laughs> and when it comes to the notoriously divisive issue of sweet potatoes, 34% of Democrats like theirs with marshmallows, while only 27% of Republicans do, and nearly 40% of Republicans think a sweet potato would make a pretty good president. <laughs> now, all that's, mm, mm, that's good. Mm, mm, mm. Now, while this is all extremely valuable data, I gotta say, please, please, can't Thanksgiving be the one day when we don't try and see everything through the lens of politics? Don't get me wrong, there are some things you should see through the lens of politics. For instance, politicians. <laughs> but tomorrow, let's not talk about politics. In the spirit of the first Thanksgiving, hosts just share your food and try not to worry that your guest seems like they're never going to leave. <laughs>